What is going on, guys? Hey, I want to come back to you this evening and bring you some JLP. And in this episode, or the clip I'm going to show you, Jesse is talking to a man by the name of Philip Scott. And Philip has his own show. Uh, I forgot the name of it. It's something like Advice Would Fill or Advice Would Fill or something. Um, but this man is trying to make a couple of points, which I find absolutely um, ridiculous and um, honestly just racist. And um, I'm, I'm going to put this stuff up there, uh, put this up, and um, you guys can let me know what you think in the comments below. But, yeah, I find it really just ridiculous in a lot of ways. But, um, hey, guys, if you would... Please like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks. Hey, thank you for tuning in, everybody, and their mama, and I do appreciate it. Let me go to Dennis out of Lillerton. Is it New Hampshire? Uh, Lillerton, New Hampshire. Dennis, thank you for calling you on with Field Advice. I have a question for your guests. I have a big, big problem with this white supremacy debate. And I know it's all about the black people having advanced due to slavery. I, I, I get it all. That's where it comes from. I don't from. get that. They're lying. Well, I, I know. But listen now. Here's my question to him. Let's roll back the hands of time. Before the Europeans settled this continent, the black people that were in the continent of South Africa, where would they be today? What would their position be, better off or worse off, had this country not been discovered? That's my question. Uh, they, they would be better off, actually. I beg your pardon? They'd be better off. Okay, so, so what's the issue with white supremacy? White people did find, found the nation. The founders were white. I get that. There was no black people in the painting. No, I understand didn't find, that. They didn't find anything. That was they, the they, demographic they, it was already at that discovered. Time. Why I was here, Slavery they came was, and they slaughtered. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I did it. Uh, you know, again, man, this guy is being so disingenuous. He really is. Again, <laughs> would black people be better off? I don't know. Some maybe, some maybe not. I have no idea, um, you know, what the future would have been if things would have been different for people. And I don't think anybody would know unless they have a time machine, number one. And number two, as far as white people finding the land and, and, and finding, you know, number one, they found the land for themselves, apparently. They, they did find the land for themselves. Were, were there people here? Yeah, there were tribes of Native Americans, yeah. But and these tribes were at war with each other. They were fighting amongst themselves. So we get, white people, white European settlers came in and in and, and, and small numbers at first, then bigger numbers and bigger numbers, and uh, they established a government. And they took over more and more land until they took over pretty much all of it. But they established a government. They founded a government. And, you know, it's like, that is true. It's like your office space... You're like, you have an organization. Your office space may have been there beforehand, but you did found, find your organization. And you found an office space that would suit your needs. It, it's, it's not saying the office space wasn't there before. It's just saying that you found it for your needs, and you founded your organization. But again, man, th this guy is just being very uh, disingenuous. And, and I really find, um, again, a lot of these points that he's trying to make, 
I, I wouldn't call them points, but, you know, are, are at his core, honestly, racist. You know, it's like um, he has one view. And and right now there's a view that racism, racism is bad unless it's racism against white people. And again, man, we can't correct the wrongs of the past. We can't correct past discrimination with current discrimination. We can't do it. We can't we can't address past racism with current racism. We can't do it. We can't do it. It's not gonna happen. It's ridiculous. Again, the only thing we can do to go forward and to correct well, there's no way to really correct the past because we can't go back. But all we can do is make things equal now. And by equal, we can only make things equal under the law. You're not going to change some, you know, person's mind from Mississippi or something. You're you're not you're not going to do it. I'm not saying that all people from the South are racist. Not at all. As a matter of fact, I live in the South. But to sit there and say, you know, that that we're trying, you're trying to get rid of racism. But you're being racist, but you're trying to get rid of it. You know, it's like I want I you, this this guy said earlier that he wants Pat Robson to speak up against white racism, white supremacy. It's like he wants him to do more against you know for for racism against racism. But this guy, this guy divides. Like like Pat Robson is not is 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 not dividing people into groups. This guy is, so he wants Pat Robson to speak against racism, but he is dividing people based upon race. So it's like, look at yourself, man. Look at yourself and what you're doing, and maybe. Maybe things will improve if you start being honest with yourself and start being honest with the people that you say that you're helping. If you want to help people, tell them the truth. Tell them the truth that if they want something, they have to make it happen. They have to go after it. They have to pray. They have to work for it. Go ahead. Finish your question real fast. Millions of people died for it, and you're free. Have at it. The one thing I missed from your whole discussion with Jesse is the fact that the black person now has opportunity. No, what we don't. gave him the opportunity? No, we don't. This country. No, we don't. No, we don't. Our, our life could be taken at any given moment. It don't matter who you are. By so other blacks. Free. By by it, by definite white supremacy. No, more black people are killing you than white people ever thought of killing you. Or oh, no, they haven't. No, no, no. No, they haven't. That's not true. You're not being honest. I am being honest. You're saying more white people are killing you than blacks. Yes. That's feel. Yeah. I thought you believed that, in that's God. That's a lie. That's no, that's true. that is the truth. Out lie. You kill. You're killing us through GMOs. You're killing us through medication. Oh, Lord. You're killing us well, through. Oh, oh you saying oh Lord? Lord. That, that's part of killing you. <laughs> no. All right, man. Let's go, let's get break this down too. First of all, he said that there, that black people don't have opportunity. He said the black people don't have opportunity. But the thing is, man, I've looked at the screen and there's two black guys sitting right here, right now. Two black men. They have their own shows, their own radio shows. If there were no, if there was no opportunity in, in live streaming shows, if they had no opportunity. Why do they have this? Why, 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 why are they sitting where they're sitting? You know, I mean, I don't know. I mean, again, I, 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 I found that to be interesting. So again, there's opportunity. There is opportunity. You're going to have to step out and do something to, you can't lay there in bed or, or sit at the house and, smoke pot or do whatever and expect to be given an opportunity. No, 
you're going to have to go, you're going to have to step out and, and, and go after it somewhat. It doesn't matter what race you are. Nobody's handed, well, I guess some people are handed things, but majority of people are not handed things. They're not given something. You know, what, no matter what color they are. And we, and we all start, not, not depending on race, but we all start at particular places. You know, the white kid from the trailer park is, is with one parent, is, is starting out behind the black kid with two parents in a household, you know, upper middle class or something. That white kid is starting out at a disadvantage from the black kid just by the sheer place of where it's coming from. So, again, man, you know, and I'm not going to argue the fact that there are more black people per capita that, that, that as a percentage that live in poverty. I'm not going to, I'm not going to argue that fact, but the fact is, man, there's equal opportunity under the law and people have to step out and they have to do something. Number two, talking about, um, Black people killing black people or more white people are killing black people. No, they're not. More black people kill black people than white people do. Majority of black people that are murdered are murdered by black people. It, <laughs> that is what it is. Majority of black people that are killed are black males. And majority of black males are killed by black males. No, it's like, that is what it is, man. I mean, we, we, can, we can make a sound whatever way we, we, we you want to make a sound, but that is what it is. And, and then talking about, well, white people are killing us through GMOs and medications. And like, we take medication. We eat food with GMOs in it. We shop at the same stores. You know, when I go shop and I go into a, a store and there are black people in the store that shop there, we buy the same foods. We take the same medications. Stop dividing people. It, you know, people are people. Stop dividing people. And if you want to stop racism, stop being racist. Stop dividing people into groups. That's that's the thing, man. You're calling on everyone else to stop racism, but you're promoting it. You're promoting a, a, a certain level of division. You're trying to point to groups as the reason why you're failing. Well, actually, you're not failing at all. But why black people fail? That's not why black people fail. I mean, if you truly want to help your community, help them. Tell them the truth. Look, man, if you want something, you got to work hard for it. You got to study. You got to step out. You got to be willing to put yourself out there. You got to be willing to step up. You son of a You son of a You son of a